Welcome back to another Warframe video, or you could say weapon build video. I haven't done these in a while. So, um, welcome back. And today, I'm finally going to be doing the Tenant Galaxian, okay? The Tenant Galaxian is a tenant weapon that you can get from the Corpus, um, which you could say uh, Lich. So, all you have to do is find a very, very good Corpus mission to take the Lich down, and uh, you will have to actually also do the... The golden hand, which takes the uh, coins. Yeah, those coins. I think everybody should know what I'm talking about when I mean coins. But um, I'll have the information down in the, in the uh, description if you want to know what I'm talking about exactly. So you can go check that out in the description. But taking a look at the Tenant Galaxian, okay? It's got a fire rate of 12, it's got a magazine of 90, it's got a reload speed of 2 seconds, it's got 20% critical chance, critical multiplier of 2.2 times that, and the status is 40%, and of course, it's got cold damage. So, pretty explanatory, because this is a cold weapon, and, but not only that, the Galaxian is actually a really good weapon. With the Tenant now, you actually get a bonus element damage. For my bonus element, I'm using Heat, which has... 55.7% of that because I've been throwing on that uh, bonus heat element. Or you could say I've been getting the weapons and then fusing them with this weapon to increase my bonus element. So that's how that works. So getting those weapons and increasing the, or getting the tenant weapon to be exact and increasing the element. That's what you have to do is keep killing that lich. And you will get your bonus element. Galvanized Chamber on. 80% multi-shot on the kill. 30% multi-shot for 20 seconds. Stacks up to 5 times. We have Galvanized Aptitude. 80% status chance on the kill. 40% dairy damage per status type effect in the target for 20 seconds. Stacks up to 2 times. So really great uh, Galvanized mods over here. So definitely throw that on the build. Definitely useful as heck. Serration. 165% damage. I got Vigilante for Vore for that 45% uh, fire rate, to be honest. And it also gives you that 15% to enhance critical hits. Vigilante Armament, 60% multi-shot. We have Rhyme Rounds, 15%, uh, and then 50% status and cold. So that's unranked. Um, and then we got Malignant Force, 30% toxin and status chance because I'm trying to keep the heat damage at high damage and then lowering in the viral damage you keep it at 153 that's basically all i'm trying to do so we can have more heat damage and then that's why i also threw on hellfire for more heat damage as well all right and then we got primary merciless as our arcane ring five on the kill 30 percent damage for four seconds stacks up to 12 times 30 percent reload speed so that's what that does now we could go test out this weapon And as you can see, it's a really, really great freaking weapon. You can hear that cold effect, but on top of that, you see heat damage. Yeah, this is a really, really dope weapon here. Because, well, it's doing so much damage. Alright, and without the fact of serration, I feel like I wouldn't be doing as great damage without it. I guess, some way. Especially fiery as well, don't forget that. But all I know is this weapon needs the damage. Because without it, it ain't really as much you can do with this weapon. It really isn't. Because, same as the other Galaxian, they're not that strong as this weapon is. And this weapon with having the same, you know, not the same, but overall, you know, it's not being as increased as much to critical chance and crit multiplier. But the status is the only thing that goes up. But surprisingly, they did bring up the status. Uh, sorry, yes, the status, the critical chance, and the crit multiplier is basically what I'm talking about. It's just the critical chance and crit multiplier. So I was surprised on that part, right? But... I mean, the Galaxian wasn't all too bad of a weapon. But now since the 10 is out, there is some decency to it. You can obviously, you know, now fusion the weapon as well. 
So that obviously does kind of bring, you know, some damage to the to the weapon. Um, you know, giving it more something to rely on. You know, is that boldness element. So you got something, you know, to look forward to when you're using the Galaxian weapon now, if you're using a tenant version. Taking this weapon to the still path, uh, really great. And I just died because I wasn't paying attention enough. But, again, weapon is really great. And just try not to die. And you'll definitely pull through with this type of weapon, okay? Just don't be like me. Terrible. But, yeah, no, I, I enjoy the tenant Galaxian. I honestly had fun with the Galaxian Van Doe for a very, very long time. For a very, very long time, actually. You know what I mean? I, I don't even know how I died again. I, But anyways, that's not the point. I enjoyed this weapon throughout a very, very long time, ever since the Galaxian Van Doe came out. No, I did not play with the Galaxian at all, the original version of the weapon. I did not play with that weapon at all. But... But I will have to say is that now having the Tenant Galaxian, the Galaxian is up. It's it's somewhat of a better weapon. You know what I'm saying? So enjoy it while you can. Enjoy enjoy everything about the Galaxian, okay? Enjoy everything about the Galaxian. But hit that like button if you enjoyed today's video. And let me know if you guys enjoyed the build in the comments below. Uh, hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. All right? Keep sharing the content, guys. And thank you so much for watching. And just enjoying the content if you have. If you haven't, I'm sorry to hear that. Alright? But, hit that like button again. Subscribe to the channel. Keep sharing the content. And I love you guys so much. And I'm going to see you all in the next video.